let's face it, um, 2013 was not a good year overall for the black woman. And 2014 is a new start, a new beginning if you want it. It's time for things to change. It's time for us to no longer be satisfied with single parent homes. Um, it's time for us to no longer be satisfied with twerking online and making fools of ourselves. It's time for us to no longer be satisfied with just giving birth to a child. We really don't want just to get some kind of benefit or to get something out of it. It's time for those who want a change to seek that change. I have a few YouTube shout outs that I wanted to give originally, but I want, but I won't, not want, I mean won't, sorry about that. But there are some guys who have talked about black women's issues on YouTube, and these are the guys who changed my life. I didn't want to be the person that speak out on these things, but it makes sense that a black woman speaks on black women's issues simply because we have the highest rate of children being born out of wedlock and the higher rates of women who do not get married until later in life and if they ever marry. So I didn't want to be the person to do it, but over time I realized a lot of people on YouTube weren't doing it. So did some prayer and some contemplate contemplation with God and well, here I am. If you aren't aware of who the other Harriet is, go look it up for yourself. But I want you to contemplate what these women and their legacy have in common. These are two women that died with dignity, meaning that they did not do low down things for attention. What they did, they did it in the best interest of the black community as a whole to give you the future. And the legacy that we currently are carrying for these women is not a good legacy. We have thus far screwed it up and it's time for us to fix it. And 2014 is a good start for those who want it. Take a good look at who screwed up your legacy. I was fed stories when I was a kid that, oh, Kennedy loved black people. Kennedy did the best thing for black people. And as much as I love my grandmother, she would say that, but she never gave any concrete details as to how Kennedy's Kennedy had actually helped the black people. I, I still don't see it. I don't see the correlation. Uh, and Lyndon Johnson, Lyndon Baines Johnson, of course, carried on his legacy of passing policies does not help the black community and we still feel the pain of this today again it's time for you time for change and that change starts with questioning the people who started to help with our legacy and why their policies were at best ineffective that change also means changing bad behaviors it's time to stop doing the fool online in front of your children because that image is forever online and it cannot be erased whatever you choose to do before you have children okay it is your life whatever but when you bring an innocent child into this you need to start questioning the decisions that you make the twerking online it's time for that to stop also if you want to if you want a new you in 2014 it means cutting out on the foolishness and this is just some deep fried foolishness let's just keep it real i used to wear weaves i'm not gonna lie i used to do micro braids uh or keep them in my hair not do micro braids and i braided them in myself but i used to wear weaves the last time I wore a weave was for my uh, graduation from junior college in 2010. And then I didn't even want to wear one, so I was 30 years old. The last time I had braids was probably 2008-ish. Yes, like 2008. And it's not a coincidence in the three years since I cut out weaves and the five years since I cut perms out of my life that my hair has grown faster than it ever has in my life that's not a coincidence okay it's just that simple if you're not married don't have kids 
okay simply because when you're married and you bring a child into this world you bring them into a two-income home i don't really care what feminism tells you about being a strong independent woman people say words cannot hurt me but words can hurt you when you say one thing and you actually have to live it it's not really cool to have to be a single mother i don't care what anyone says it's not as easy as it looks don't have children without a husband it's just that simple and some people are like oh that's so self-servant and subservience and all that kind of crap but in 2014 black women need to get better goals to learn how to love themselves not be lovers of self but how to have a love for yourself that is a high self-esteem before bringing a child into this world Bill Cosby's written several books on this like his one book with Dr. Alvin Pust Poussaint, I believe it's like come on people how to be uh, to take the road from being victims to victors and I have the book myself and the book has a lot of good information and Bill Cosby makes a lot of good points despite his mistakes and we know what those were in the media back in the 90s I mean he took care of his kids I mean for all all this for what it's worth he was a man he was there he took care of his kids now there are some aspects of that book I don't like but most of it I agree with and that is some food for thought from mr. Cosby yep people will say well he got his career clowning just like other men and la 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 but at the end of the day he took care of his children and as well, if you guys want to read some books, there's also some Thomas Sowell books. But I think with Cosby, the reason that I'm pinging on him, because now it's abundantly clear to me why certain types of black people didn't like the Cosby show. Simply because with the Cosby show, black people lost their ability to believe, to believe that you could have a successful mother and father but with, with multiple children they can take care of, the belief that you could have a healthy family system without spanking. And believe me, some kids do need spanking. I'm an advocate for that, okay? Don't think I'm not. But you don't have to spank your kids and beat their behind for everything. That's just my opinion. But again, Cosby, the Cosby show that we all grew up with was a representation of what a black family could be in America but it was also what some black families actually were now you did have mothers and fathers in the home very few by the 90s but or the late 80s early 90s but n nonetheless you had those families and people make fun of the ideal of Claire and Cliff Huxtable because black people have lost the ability to believe that we can actually have that this sign says danger educated black woman but I should say more of danger intelligent black woman because you know what you can have education but you can still lack intelligence and I think that's the most important thing we can take from this what I'm telling you guys is get some plan B you live in a plan A world when you need a plan B C and D because with the cutbacks in um, food stamps and all that stuff I don't see things getting any better therefore you're gonna need a plan B whether you get a trade go to go some kind of trade or you go to junior college get an associates you're gonna need something to back you up because the government is no longer a guarantee so that can also be a part of your new year plan in short 2013 was not a good year for black women it just wasn't and it's just time now for the tide to change it can on it can get a little bit better or it can get progressively worse progressively worse is not an option simply because the resources that were once given to you are slowly eroding away due to cutbacks and cuts those cuts are going to affect the black woman more than any other race let's just be honest about it so in order to prep for that it is time for you to get a plan get some way out of the rut that you're in and if you are if you are a teenager and you are not yet pregnant just don't have kids it's just that simple like I said you can't like I've always said you cannot hold on to a golden past and yet have a crappy present 
we have a golden past full of women who died with dignity and ensuring themselves that they've done good for the race while yet our fu our future doesn't look so good so it's time for us to fight all right well hopefully some of you will take heart to what i've said uh have any questions just shoot me an email thank you and god bless